Hey, what is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are talking about High Tide Inc, ticker symbol HITIF. Now what I will go ahead and do is I'll show you some of the stock charts. I'll show you what I've been seeing within their stock charts, what moves I've made recently. And we will also go over some news that was released today that I think is going to be fantastic for this company going forward that I think has a lot of positive implications. So going ahead and just taking a look at some of the stock charts, just seeing what all I have done. I'll show you all a few trades that I did make last week and why I made them and then what I'm expecting in the future. As can see over the course of the last about six weeks high tide has been really struggling to gain some momentum but i do believe things are starting to look around and i'm actually very excited for what the next few weeks may hold as i think that we might really be seeing some growth soon here now whenever it comes to last week alone the end of the last week especially was a very important one for the company and as we can see here or this was the biggest hold on let's get out of that this was the big point of resistance that i noticed at the very end of last week on the 17th we started to notice that there was some resistance here and they were struggling to get out of that and I was like well it looks like this could be a strong point of resistance again and it might look like it may be the bottom or the trough so I was like okay let's go ahead this looks very bullish as well almost a full bullish engulfing but not quite I was like all right I think that this thing is clearly showing that it wants to move forward. As we can see, there's no wick here. I mean, it was very, very bullish. I was like, let's go ahead. Let's get in. Let's see what happens. So as we can see here, the very next day, earlier that morning, right at market open, I picked up a few extra shares. And then a little while later, I picked up a few more shares as well, with both of those equaling out to going up around 9.8 to 9.6%. So it's definitely nice to pick up a few extra percentage gains, especially while I'm trying to grow out this position. As many of you know, this is a company I'm very, very bullish on long term i think long term they have way more potential than they do within the short and the midterm and so with that being said even if i wasn't to get you know a nine or ten percent gain in the pro you know in profits in the short term i wouldn't all that be be all that concerned as i am more focused on just getting in on this company making sure that i am getting out of this company you know the the gains that i want to see over the course of five 10 15 years but again it is definitely nice to time some of these entries to try to get in on good times where it looks like things may be turning around and picking up as much profit as possible so that being said it has seemed like we are starting to see a bit of a, a new pattern here a new trend and i'm very excited about it because things were again not looking too good i mean these different trends here they were just not the best it, it, it was kind of frustrating because it seemed like they could really not get any momentum going and it seems like they are going to be trying for it again one more time here so as we can see they're starting to set i'm just going to very roughly draw some lines here just to kind of get an idea of where this channel is going to be what all they've been doing and where they're bouncing at as we can see here they've been about bouncing within this channel and what i'm hoping to see from this company at the moment is let's go ahead and draw this one too is for them to start to retest this area here this would be optimal for me if we can start to see them retest this area here i think it'll say a lot i think right now they have a lot of momentum going for them especially as we do we got a new coo we got some great new information about a new store opening and we also got some fantastic information about a form 40f so with all of that being said i think that it could be a great time for them to retest this so i am expecting this thing to overall continue to grow it might have a day or two where it does slump back but i think overall we are going to expect to see a retest at about 73 cent line so this could be a fantastic opportunity to cop capitalize on getting some more shares i'm personally going to more than likely if you do want information about these trades when i do make them definitely go down to the link in the description check out my patreon that's where i'm fully transparent about all of this information my trade portfolio you can get early access to these videos and my research also if you are looking to expand out into a new brokerage or start your own investment journey i highly recommend using the referral link down in the description below to weeble whenever you do sign up and deposit one hundred dollars into your account you will get two free stocks valued all the way up to one thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars but with that being said i am personally probably going to be picking up a few more shares i think even though we are up big i'm expecting this thing to follow this trend now if it does break the trend we're going to have to reassess figure out where it may go figure out what it may do but with that being said i'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on it and that's just overall the simple very brief version of what i'm seeing from the charts now what has caused a lot of this um you know this big movement here what has caused a lot of this green and why is this company moving up today well one thing that we did get today is that the company announced the filing of a form 40f with the sec fulfilling a significant milestone for the nasdaq listing as we did see um you know high tide is a company who is focused on getting uplisted into the nasdaq currently they trade on some smaller exchanges and i think an uplisting to the nasdaq would be absolutely phenomenal for this company and i'm very excited to see what they're going to do how it's going to go and what 
what different steps they are going to take, such as maybe like reverse mergers or anything like that, that will get them up to where they need to be. So as we do see here, it says here that we were the first Canadian cannabis retailer to pursue this prestigious listing on the NASDAQ, and we believe it will allow us to greatly expand our shareholder base, enhance shareholder value, and accelerate our already aggressive M&A initiatives in Canada, Europe, and the United States. Raj Grover continued on to say that we are currently in several discussions with potential acquisition targets in these jurisdictions and look forward to updating the market soon. So with that being said, I think this is huge for the company. I believe that if they are capable again of getting upgraded and you know uplisted into that NASDAQ, of course, like he did say, that does provide as a shareholders a lot more value. I think that it allows them to start to reach out and become exposed to many new investors. I think that is going to overall bring an even higher sense of legitimacy to the company and it will set them aside from all of the other cannabis retailers in Canada. As we have seen, they are the largest retail seller of cannabis within the Canadian, you know, within Canada itself. And so with that being said, if they are then capable of becoming the first one to get listed on the NASDAQ, that will say much about the company. I think it sets them ahead very, very far from all of their competitors and makes them an even more appealing option of investment whenever many of these big institutional investors do want to start to jump into this market as it is growing and they are going to want to get in soon mark my words so with that being said that is very very exciting overall what is a form 40f for those of you who may know a form 40f is a filing with the u.s securities and exchange or of course the sec and it is used by canadian companies that want to offer their securities to the u.s investors in addition to being used to register canadian securities in the united states a form 40f provides investors with valuable insight into the canadian companies offering them after the first filing with the sec the form is thereafter used by canadian companies to provide their annual report. The form not only supplies standard information about the security in the company, it also gives the domestic and Canadian contact information for the securities issuer. So that does basically allow them to sell their securities within the U.S. If this is then, you know, finished out once they do get all of this approved, this is a huge step. And I think that being, you know, uplist to the NASDAQ could be much closer than people realize, which would be absolutely huge. And that would be a big, big catalyst for this company. From that point forward, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see some type of reverse merger happen in order to get their stock price up of course there are nasdaq price requirements i know they have to be above a dollar for a set amount of time so with all of that information we definitely do have to keep a close eye on high tide they're making great moves they're making some big big changes right now and i'm very excited to see how far this thing is gonna go last but not least another piece of news that i did want to announce uh, or you know go over is going to be their recent addition of a new coo now, they just brought on Amon Sood as the COO. He is someone who has been working with them for quite some time. As we can see here, it says here that with over two decades of experience in the retail sector, project management, operations, technology, and cost optimization, he has proven successes in new, mar new market identification and strategic positioning for companies of all sizes. He has led the building and management of 25 New Leaf Cannabis retail locations, and Mr. Sood is a pioneer in the legal market who specializes in spearheading operational improvements to reduce shrink, enhance productivity, increase sales, and drive efficiencies. So this is definitely going to be great for the company. As they did say, it's very important. He has so much expertise within positioning these different retail markets to absolutely maximize the potential that they can reach. They are going to need someone like this to be able to pinpoint different areas in which they want to set up operations, in which they want to open these stores, as that is going to allow them to continue to expedite the growth of their company. And I think he is a very fantastic guy to do it. He's been around for quite some time as we did see here he has been in the um, building and management of over 25 new leaf cannabis stores and i think going forward this is going to be a fantastic uh, addition to their overall management and executive team as he is going to allow them to figure out hey what can we do if we want to expand out into the u.s what are some other markets that we can target what are some other you know places in which we can place these retail stores that are going to allow us to maximize efficiency maybe if we're going to europe where are some places that we can do etc etc and i think that was a fantastic fantastic addition, especially right now as we have seen them grow their overall portfolio of stores significantly over the last few months. So that being said, that is a big update on HITIF. I hope I didn't talk your heads off, but there was a lot of information I wanted to get out to you and I hope you do appreciate it as I did try to cover every single aspect of what we have seen from them over the last few days. That being said, if you did enjoy today's video, you can definitely let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. If you do want to check out my videos, I post on this channel too to three times every single day and i can't wait to see you all in the next video peace